What did the My Teenage Girl production team do that made netizens furious? Let's find out. My Teenage Girl Episode 8, aired on Sunday, January 16, showed the remaining battle between the two teams, along with the announcements of all the remaining spots in the debut group. In Episode 7, the first and second graders won the vocal position battle by a huge margin due to a mistake from third grade Chiwu. Then, the role was reversed as the third and fourth graders won the dance position match by a huge margin. This results in first and second grade teams at 40 points ahead. The next battle from the rap and all-rounder position will determine the final outcome. For the rap unit, there were a number of strong rappers from the third and fourth grade so the team definitely have the advantage. In 3rd and 4th grade, Kim yun -so, Kim Hyun-hee, Oh ji and Lee yoo min are the representatives for 1st and 2nd grade, Sung min che Jung Si-woo, Choi Soo-bin, and Minami will perform. Surprisingly, all 4 trainees from the 3rd and 4th grade were XYG trainees. So you can just imagine the anticipation for the group's performance. During the midpoint check, the 3rd and 4th graders crushed their performance, which amazed the teachers and the other contestants. But the mentor, Soyeon, was not satisfied with the performance. She asked the students, why didn't they write their own rap? Writing your own rap performance is not something new for a survival show, so Soyeon advised that the trainee must write their own rap verse. Since she is also the mentor in charge of the rap position, she was extra passionate instructing the 3rd and 4th grade, as a result, the final performance was incredible. They all showed strong confidence and sexiness with powerful rap lyrics. It can be said that this performance showed the third grade strength, which was not very visible during the previous episode. On the other hand, the first and second grade team faces a lot of trouble during their rehearsal. Being intimidated by the other team during the midterm check, they didn't memorize the lyrics, which was harshly criticized by the mentors. Like what we've seen in the last episode, in order to save the dance unit, Sonya was taken out from the rap unit and Min Che was the replacement. So there was a lot of disruption before the performance. Nevertheless, first and second grade team still managed to pull off a strong performance. The girls showed off their energy and added some provocative moves. Although there were problems with the props, like the mini car didn't work properly and Min Che's mic fell off during the performance. Good thing they stayed calm all throughout and finished with confidence. For the final results, the first and second graders got 380 points, and the third and fourth graders 620 points, which put them 200 points ahead. Then we move on to the final battle from the all rounder position. 4th grade Mihi performed Aespa's Next Level and 2nd grade Sarang performed Lisa's Money. For this round, both of them were recognized for their skills. Although Mihi was at a disadvantage due to her song being a group performance, she managed to fill up the stage with her talent. Her dance break section was exceptionally well. 2nd grade Sarang did very well with her stage as well. Her strong energy really captivated the audience's attention. However, during the ending, her performance included stage props when money was blown like confetti, which made her stage look fancier. As a result, Mihi got 400 points and Sarang got 600 points. So Sarang won the match. In the end, all the points were tallied and the final score was revealed. This is when the problem occurred. The final scores turned out to be a tie which the production team didn't even anticipate. Due to the unexpected result, the teachers and the production crew had an emergency meeting. Originally, they were going to give four spots of the debut group to the two grades who won this round and eliminate six members of the team that lost. But the audience already left, so they couldn't request another match to determine the results. In the end, they all agreed to give each grade a spot in the debut group and eliminate three members with the lowest results. The results were calculated by turning the group points into individuals and add the points from the online vote for individual score. As a result, 2nd grade Park Hyo-won, 1st grade Jung Si-woo, and Jung Ye-ju were eliminated from the 1st and 2nd grade team, and 3rd grade Kim Se-ye, 4th grade Lee Yoo-min, and 3rd grade Ro Jae-yoon were eliminated from the 3rd and 4th grade team. Meanwhile, all the spots of the debut group were finally assigned. First, third, and fourth grade each took two spots, and second grade took one spot. Now that the number of debut members from each grade had been decided, it was time to determine which member in each grade would debut. 
The next mission is the battle within each grade, and the girls in each grade have to compete against each other. For the next performance, the girls were given which songs they should perform. The fourth grade was given G Friends Time for the Moon Knight and G Idols Uh Oh, and the third grade was given Twice as Likey and Mama Moo's Hip. Second grade got Girls' Generation TTS's Twinkle and BDS's Butter. And lastly, first grade got Luna's Why Not and Blackpink's How You Like That. For this performance, the girls are divided into four member teams. The teams will each sing one verse of the songs, and they will come together at the end for the dance break. The debut group members were selected 40% based on the score from the audience and 60% based on online voting. The members with the highest score in each grade will be given a spot of the debut group. It was also announced that through this mission, 9 girls will be eliminated. So, it turns out that this will not be the final evaluation, and they might have to compete again for their remaining spot. During the rehearsal, Ok Jae-yeon gave criticism for the third grade performance. Two trainees, Taehyung and Jiwoo, chose to be in the team that don't really match their image. Mentor Jae-yeon pointed out that they should focus on their strength instead of trying something new. In the end, the teacher decided to change the members from each team. Hyun Hee was placed in the Likey team and Yeon Sa in the Hip team. During Likey performance, Tae Rim, Hyun Hee, and Ji Yeun's showed their lovely side, but occasionally their strong side was visible during the performance, which showed their duality. For the Hip performance, Yeon Jung and Yeon Sa did very well, especially Ji Woo, surprising everyone with her rap. However, the evaluation from the audience was quite harsh, as Ji Woo and Tae Rim only ranked number 5 and 6 while Hyun Hee and Yun Jung ranked number 1 and 2. With that, episode 8 ended. Regarding the viewer reaction to this episode, like the mentor expected, the viewers were not happy with this result. For the final results, since the girls weren't evaluated based on how they performed during this episode, but from the voting results that was taken two weeks ago, the evaluation was not very fair. If they had applied the voting result based only on today's performance, the result of this mission would have been different. Many pointed out that if there was a tie, the best course of action is for the PD to make the audience stay a bit longer for a tiebreaker battle. But that couldn't happen as there was a curfew for the filming session. For international netizens, many expressed their disappointment as the first grade got two spots in the debut group since they were too young, while the second grade only got one spot. Many wanted the final lineup to have more slots for the third and fourth grade. Some suggested that NBC should add more slots to the final lineup. Another popular debate among netizens is the all-rounder battle. Many agree that the props for the money stage has affected the final results, and Mihi did better with her performance as she was able to show her skill in all fields – rap, dancing, and singing. Needless to say, the showrunner should have anticipated all the possible outcomes and be better prepared when it comes to the competition rules. So what do you think about episode 8 of My Teenage Girls? Are you happy with the final results? Let us know in the comment section down below. Until next time!